Hello there guys and gals, welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Achievement Guide and this time we are getting the Hooping It Up Achievement for scoring 30 points in the basketball court. Now we can do this basically at the beginning of the game uh, where you can see Sweet's house just to the north right there is a clucking bell and just to the west ever so slightly to the left is a basketball court. So that is where we're going to head. Please ignore the state of my taxi, I've been doing some, you know, um... Some properly pedestrian driving, as it were. Hmm, pretty much not. So here we are then at the courts. Now at the top one there is where we're going to find the basketball. You've got to press Y to play the game. Now you can do a couple of practice shots before pressing Y to do the challenge mode. But here is a couple of tips and tricks that will help you get this in one. So, first thing I advise is... Switching the graphics mode to fidelity instead of performance. Now basically what that'll do, that'll... Uh, slow down the game a little bit and that will come in mega handy and the main big one is so if you put the graphics mode into fidelity that is going to help big time so every time um, you start the challenge mode as you can see you have to run to each of these red markers get a hoop run to pick up the ball and then grab another one now i've seen a lot of people say um just wait until cj's hands are above his head and then let the right trigger go because that's what you have to do press Press and hold the right trigger for about a second, maybe a second and a half, then let go. But for me, that was as tricky uh, as, you know, shoving an egg up your bum or something. Not not, not that I do that often, obviously, but um, <laughs> no. For me, that was tricky. So the best way that I found to do this was um, I found it a hell of a lot easier to use CJ at pretty much the peak of his jump instead of the hands for timing. Um... Yeah, the whole right after CJ's hands were over his head part, that genuinely did confuse me a little bit. Um, but instead, I was literally waiting until CJ jumped right at the peak, right as his highest jump is where you should let the right trigger go. And that just made things a hell of a lot easier for me, even though I'm missing a hell of a lot right now. Uh, so with the hands over his head thing, I could only get a score of 11, couldn't get it down. But with this whole uh, looking at his jump thing... This made it just so much easier, as you can see, already got 14, and you do have a lot of time as well, because you get extra seconds for every jump that you do, so never need to panic, even with these tricky shots, again, as soon as CJ hits the peak of his jump, let it go, and you will get this one, no problem, so, just to summarise then, Fidelity mode instead of performance, that slows down the animations a lot and helps big time. If you're having troubles with the right trigger button, you can actually use the B button as well, if that helps you. Um, because I know that that did definitely help me out as well, instead of uh, using the right trigger, I used the B button. Also, the main thing for me, again, it can be uh, particularly different for you, but... Um, shooting or leaving the B button or right trigger button go right at the apex or the peak of CJ's jump that is what helped me big time and as you can see the score is flying up and I now I am now Michael Jordan basically I am I'm better because I can do it on a video game instead of real life which is all the rage these days huh kids but after the minutes up, there we go, we've got 10 seconds left, I'm just taking the, the mick now, but as long as you've got a score higher than 30, I'm not sure if it is, no, I think it's 30, as long as you've got a score of at least 30, the time will expire and the achievement will unlock. So there we go then, guys and gals, so I'm hoping that those tips and tricks helped you just a little bit in case you're struggling with this one. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals, I'll see you in the next San Andreas Guide, big love!